So I was trying to have a moment of quiet vlogging time, but there's just so many people hanging out here. Um, and then it started raining, obviously, since I had to whip out my umbrella. So, woo! Like, seriously, it was usually it's just sprinkling and I can still sit through it, but it's pouring pretty hard now. Um, I guess it's time for me to go back in. Now I'm inside the garage. So, I put my umbrella away. So, here's the garage at work. Only patients can park here. I can't park here, unfortunately. I wish I could. Maybe if I get in earlier. Yeah, if you come in like before 7, I think, you can park in here early, but uh, I guess I'll just have the exercise. I haven't been to the gym in a while. Uh, so it's been a long day. Um, I ate my salad. Somebody promised me cupcakes, or a cupcake. But we'll see. I'm about to head off to a meeting in about 30 minutes. Gotta go clock in for lunch. Later. So how about it just finished raining and it's supposed to smell real fresh, like, you know, like a fresh whole new world, like crisp, green spring smells. It smells like freaking poop right now. It's disgusting. Ugh. Okay, what's today's lesson? Well, we had a staff meeting today, and on one of the things on the agenda was LBGTQ training. Um, we want to become more aware of all of our patients even though they make smaller than one percent it is very important for us to treat them like everyone else um, it was very interesting um, it brought a lot of things into different perspectives um, just because a woman dresses like a man it does not mean that she likes other women she still likes men but you don't know how someone identifies until you actually ask them so it is very interesting because it is true there's a lot of biases that we learn from social media and the public um, so I'm trying to learn to be a little more self-aware um, try to find out their names so you can actually call them by their name um, it is sometimes insensitive to assume and say right away mrs. or mister I had a patient once that was like that I didn't realize um, a woman came up to my desk and I asked her where her husband was and she said I am the patient and I felt so bad but I just acted like it was nothing. I was like, oh, okay, well, here's the paperwork that you need to sign. So it's just things like that, making people feel welcome. Um, a lot of people are always conscious. They're already conscious because they're sick coming into the hospital, and there's so many things they don't need to deal with. But, yeah, that's the thing that we learned about, just a little bit of light on some situations. Um, they had free ice cream that I didn't take. Go me, so proud of me. But then freaking a bee you got me a freaking cupcake two cupcakes and I ate them both I gave a little piece of the Oreo away but it was so delicious and I'm gonna go home and I'll plank it off or something all right well time to get into the traffic see you later I'm here with Giselle hi what are we doing today I don't know so I came over for dinner and we brought a lot of food and they already have a lot of food are you gonna eat Hi. Is that a kulango? No. <laughs> Isn't she cute? Doesn't she look like me? How old are you now? I don't know. Okay, and I don't know years. You're going to look just like me. Hey, <laughs> Alright, peace out. We're going to eat soon. Okay. Right. <laughs> 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 Look at this little dog. His name is Pogi. It means like handsome. I see him. <laughs> <laughs> Should have done that in the grass. <laughs> that pinched my butt. 
sorry. <laughs> I couldn't grab your pants. Ah! <laughs>